you remember what it felt like the first time you met your spouse? How it felt to have those late night conversations and the crazy things you would say just to impress with one another? How about your first date? Do you remember how anxious you were as you sat down to dinner and you got so nervous that you could barely eat? Barely eating any of your food. You remember how excited you were, how nervous you were when you decided to propose? Do you remember what it felt like when he got down on one knee to propose? And there was a part of you that was pretty certain she would say yes, but then there was this anxious part of your heart as well that was nervous she would say no. Now go back to the day when you're standing in the church across from your soon-to-be husband or soon-to-be wife, reciting the vows you've heard a million times. In front of all your friends and all your family. If your wedding was anything like my wedding, it was probably some variation of for better or worse. But we were all thinking for better, right? No couple goes into marriage thinking it's going to be tough. In fact, none of us go into marriage thinking it's going to take a lot of hard work. We just assume we love each other, we've got this. Your marriage is going to be different. Your marriage is going to be special. You were going to stay in love. Your marriage is going to be anything but ordinary. We're not sure how it happened, but over time we drifted. Our careers started to take off. Our kids started to dominate our lives. And without even realizing it, we stopped doing the very things that cause us to want to be married to our spouse in the first place. Our marriage has become ordinary. We're not the spouse that we thought we would be. We don't have the relationship that we always dreamed we would have. And it's not that we wanted a marriage of mediocrity, it's just that we drifted into it. Ordinary is characterized by dissatisfaction, stale love, and misunderstanding. Ordinary is that place where we stop fighting for extraordinary. Nobody wants to settle for something ordinary, so why would we settle for an ordinary marriage? God's vision for your marriage isn't ordinary. In fact, it's way beyond ordinary. God's dream for your marriage is better than any dream you've ever had. Maybe you're stuck in ordinary right now, and you long to be in the extraordinary. God longs for you to be in the extraordinary, but you will have to choose it. You can choose to go beyond ordinary, because a good marriage... A good marriage doesn't have to be good enough.